I want to talk to you today about what I think is the best real estate investment you can make in 2020 or in the very near future. I'm going to cover it on two aspects. One is if you buy the physical real estate, and number two, if you buy some fabulous companies that I've discovered who are in this business. And this is the business of trailer parks. Yes, I said trailer parks. I've going to do this video, and then I've also written a blog about it that uh, that covers it in great detail. If you want to read the blog, come to bestofusinvestors.com and register, and then I will send you a copy of the blog that I that I wrote. If you're already registered, you're going to get the blog anyway. The best real estate investment that you can make in 2020 particularly in light of what is happening is re relative to demographics in the United States. That is that the baby boomers are retiring. They're retiring with uh, something like $30,000 in savings, and they're retiring at the rate of $10,000 per day, which started in 2011 and will continue through 2035. And they own 75% of the real estate. What they need to sell their house, they need to get into more affordable housing. Now, a lot of you are, are, have seized upon this, and you're going out and you're flipping homes and you're fixing up homes, probably the homes that they're selling, and then they have to go find some, some affordable housing. Uh, the other thing you're doing is you're renovating apartments and you're finding an apartment for them to live in, or you're making an apartment available to a millennial. So you again, you're going after affordable housing. And this is good, but this is labor intense. This is, you've got to deal with contractors, you've got to deal with roofers, you've got to deal with all the headaches. And then once you get the house or the apartment, you have to deal with renting it. And once you rent it, you have to make them happy as they tear it up and may have problems with it. You've got to fix it as the as the plumbing doesn't work, you've got to get a contractor in there to, to, to fix it. So it is a labor intense way of making money in real estate. If you're flipping them, you're just doing the same thing over and over and you're hoping that you get it sold and turn a profit in it. And with the coronavirus, you're probably having some issues. So how did I then discover what I'm going to talk to you about? And that is trailer parks. I sold a million dollar home for a widow. And after, at the closing table, when we're done, she says, Carrie, I got another project I need you to work on. And it turned out to be a trailer park. A trailer park, which consists of 172 acres, of which six, that she has 76 tenants on, and it has the ability to create another 300 potential trailer slabs. So I've learned about this, and, and I, what I learned is that it's filling a need, a need for affordable housing. Before we go any further, notice the hat. I've talked to some of you and told you in the past that I was opening a store. The store is going to be at Best of Us Investors within the next week. And we're going to sell hats, we're going to sell hoodies. This is Nita's hat. The hats will be in uh, different colors. Because again, I'm trying to build a tribe, a tribe of common thinkers who are saying there's more to investing this than trying to buy at the bottom and get a bump. The, the, my theory on investing is invest in companies that are going to change the way you live. Well, trailer parks are going to change the way we live because of demographics because the baby boomers are retiring, they don't have the money to live in uh, expensive properties, and so trailer parks are booming. If you want to learn more about the demographics of the world that is controlling the markets you're trying to invest in, read Peter Zeon's The Accidental Superpower. There's a link to it down below. So now let's get back to the trailer parks. The, the, what the appeal is, unlike an apartment building, you don't own the, the, the residence. In an apartment building, you're going to pay somewhere in the neighborhood of $100,000 per unit. That's true whether it's an apartment building, a duplex, a triplex, 
or if it's a single family home, you're going to be paying somewhere in the neighborhood of $250,000 a unit. Trailer parts, you're going to pay roughly $10,000 per pad. All you're providing is a concrete pad and you're bringing the utilities to it. You're going to probably dig if a septic tank, in the case of where, where the one that I have, you're going to have the electricity there and they're probably going to be on LP gas. So, and then they're going to have the telephone. For that, that cost, to make that available on a plot, about $2,200. So, once you get that done, you then rent the, the, the lot to the people for somewhere around 250 in this community, $250 a month. So, this gives affordable housing to baby boomers, to millennials, and anybody else who is looking for affordable housing. Think about it. Where else can you go and buy maybe a fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollar home and then put it someplace and pay two hundred and fifty dollars to rent the land that it sits on? That's what a trailer park is all about. There is a tremendous de demand for trailer parks. Think about it. I live in a $650,000, $700,000 home. I have five acres of land behind me that I don't own. What if somebody came and said, I, we're going to put a trailer park back there? I would fight it tooth and nail. So there isn't an abundance of trailer parks available, but there is a demand for them. So when there is a, sl a, a high demand and a slow supply, what happens? People make money. Unlike an apartment building, you don't have to repair the toilet when the toilet doesn't flush. That's the responsibility of the person who owns the trailer. If there's an electrical part the problem in an apartment building or a single family home that you rent, you have to pay to have it repaired. In a trailer park, you don't have to. The cost of maintaining, of running an apartment building roughly runs 50% of the income. In a trailer park, it's about 30%. Because all you're maintaining are the roads and the land, the common land. They cut their own grass. They maintain their own driveway. You maintain the streets and the common areas. Let's talk about turnover. You own an apartment building, a single family home, and someone says, hey, our lease is up, uh, we're moving out. That doesn't happen in a trailer park because they own the trailer. They're going to pay five to seven thousand dollars to move that trailer. Well, what if they just walk away from the trailer? Uh, then it's yours. The average renter stays for at least five years. As I say, a ninety percent, a ninety-eight percent occupancy rate. Because nobody wants a trailer park next to their home, there's less competition than an apartment building. So you have everything working in your favor. Okay. That's why you need to own a trailer park. But wait a second. I, carry, I don't have a half a million dollars. I don't have a million or two million dollars to buy a trailer park. The trailer park I have listed is listed for $2.1 million. You don't have that. I understand that. So what's your next best choice? Your next best choice is to buy a stock in a company that operates trailer parks. I have two of them I want you to look at. The first one is Sun Communities Incorporated. Sells for about $140 a share. The second one, one is Equity Lifestyle Properties. Sells for $64 a share. I bought that one yesterday. I'm already up 4% today. Uh, they both started in roughly 1994. I want you to go and look at a graph on these two stocks. Go to your best, whatever graph, graphing software you use, and go back and look what happened starting in 1994. They were just trailing along, and then in roughly 2008, when the subprime crisis occurred, and a lot of people got thrown out of their homes and lost their jobs, their stock started on a rocket shot, straight up. You'll look at it and say, damn, that's as good as a tech stock. No, it's not. Compare 
go into your graph and put a compare and compare it to Amazon, compare it to Google, compare it to Apple, compare it to Facebook from 1994 or from 2008. It will it far exceeds the performance of any of the the tech stocks. Why? Because it's in shortage. There aren't enough trailers parks for the people who want them. Now, did it take a hit as a part of the crisis? The, the, yeah, it took a hard hit. And it, what, they went down 40, 50, 60 percent. They're still down substantially, so they're a bargain. They're a bargain. Will they be affected by the people who can't pay their bills? Yeah, they will. They will. They will be the same. They're, these, the people living in there are either retired people or their restaurant workers, or their their hotel workers, uh, or their construction people. Yeah, they're going to have a tough time for the next couple of months. But I'll ask you: If you can't pay your bills, are you not going to pay your credit card bill? Or are you going to pay your two? Or, or are you not going to pay your two hundred and fifty dollar rent on the, the the slab that your house is sitting on? I think you're going to pay the two hundred and fifty dollars for your your slab. Are, are you are you going to? It, it's right behind groceries. So this is a secure investment, even through this tough time. Again, look at their charts. That's Sun Communities Incorporated and Equity Lifestyle Properties. Best, the store best of us investors will be opening within the week. This is Nita's hat. This is my hat. We're going to have hoodies. We're building a tribe. We're building a tribe of people who who look at investing differently. We want to invest in companies that we can grow with. We want to invest in companies that we can be proud of. We're not looking for a gamble. We're not looking for to catch a falling knife or a rocketing knife. We're actually looking for companies that we can be proud owners of and they grow with us. Also, these companies play dividends. The next video I'm going to do in my series of this video will change the way you invest is how to invest in dividend stocks.